Here in this video, we are going to see a problem based on chain drive. Here we have a question. A chain drive is used for reduction of speed from 300 rpm to 100 rpm. The number of teeth on driving sprocket is 18. Find the number of teeth on the driven sprocket. If the PCD of driven sprocket is 600 mm and center to center distance between the sprockets is 700 mm, determine the pitch and the length of the chain. So this is the question in front of us. First, again by reading the question step by step, I'll be writing the data and then when we'll see what we have to find in this problem. The question is given in such a way. First, I'll mention the type of problem that it belongs to chain drive. Then, here the chain drive is used for reduction of speed. That is, first the speed is 300 RPM. So that I'll denote it as N1 which is the speed of the driving sprocket. So N1 is 300 RPM. Then to 100 RPM, which will be N2, speed of the driven sprocket. Then the number of teeth on driving sprocket is 18. So that will be denoted as T1, the number of teeth on the driving sprocket. Find the number of teeth on driven sprocket. So that number of teeth would be denoted as T2. Then if the PCD that is the pitch circle diameter of the driven sprocket, driven sprocket would be denoted as 2 for us. So here the PCD would be denoted as D2 and that is 600 mm. And the center to center distance between the sprockets is 700 mm denoted as X center to center distance. Then the question is determine the pitch and length of the chain. So after T2, that is the number of teeth on the driven sprocket, we have to find the pitch of the chain and the length of the chain. So here is the question in front of us. In the solution part, I'll be solving it in steps. That is first, we are going to find the number of teeth on the driven sprocket. So let's get started here. When we look into the data, N1 and N2 are given. That is the speed of the driving and the driven sprocket. So I'll use the formula for velocity ratio. That is since the velocity ratio for chain drive is given by N2 upon N1 is equal to T1 upon T2. It means the speed is inversely proportional to the number of teeth. So therefore, T2 is what we have to calculate here. So T2 will be T1 into N1 divided by N2, putting the values here. T1 is given in the problem. T1 is 18. Next N1 is 300 and N2 is 100. So I'll be getting the answer of T2 as 54. That is the total number of teeth on the driven sprocket. This is the first answer. Next, after we have reached up till here, that is the number of teeth on the driven sprocket. I'm going to use the relation that is the formula of pitch circle diameter and pitch in order to get the value of pitch. So here I'll say that since the relation between PCD and pitch is given by now as T1, T2 both are known and here in this case even D1, D2 value is known because D1 is not with us that is the diameter of the driving sprocket but D2 is there so I'll be using the formula in the form of D2 that is the relation between PCD and pitch will be D2 is equal to pitch cosec 180 degree divided by number of teeth on the driven sprocket. So putting all the values here, D2 value is 600 given, pitch is what we have to find out cosec 180 divided by T2 which is 54 and from this when I calculate the answer of pitch comes out to be 34.89 mm
this will be the second answer for us after getting the pitch i'll go for finding the diameter of the driving sprocket that is d1 so this formula would be used in a similar manner that is similarly the formula of pcd and pitch for the driving sprocket d1 p cosec 180 degree divided by t1 so your pitch we have already found out it is 34.89 cosec 180 degree divided by t1 which is given to us in the data it is 18 so from this i'll get the answer of d1 and it comes out to be 200.92 mm then after getting the value of d1 the question is we have to find the length of chain that is after we have calculated t2 and pitch the next term is length of chain i'll write the formula for length of chain length of chain is given by pitch into k i'll be keeping this as equation first where this k is called as a multiplication factor and multiplication factor is that value which is multiplied to the pitch in order to get the length of chain and this k multiplication factor is given by k is equal to t1 plus t2 divided by 2 plus it is 2m plus cosec 180 degree divided by t1 that is for the driving sprocket minus cosec 180 degree divided by t2 for the driven sprocket whole square divided by 4m so this is the formula for the multiplication factor and how we have arrived at this formula for that you all can refer the previous videos where i have derived the expression for the length of chain drive now in this m this value m can be found out by using the relation that since x center distance is m into pitch therefore m will be x upon p x is the center distance given in the problem as 700 the pitch value we have found out it was 34.89 so therefore m value is 20.06 then after getting this value of m i'll be putting all the values which we have found out in this multiplication factor to get the answer of k k will be equal to it is t1 plus t2 t1 is 18 for us t2 we have found out it is 54 mm uh, 54 it is the number of teeth so it won't be in mm because that is a number then plus 2 m so 2 into 20.06 plus into bracket cosec 180 divided by t1 t1 is 18 minus cosec 180 divided by t2 which is 54 whole square divided by 4 m m is 20.06 so when we calculate this the first term comes out to be 36 then this next term is 40.12 plus the terms inside the bracket the first term i am getting it as 3.24 minus the next term 17.20 whole square divided by this value in the denominator which is 80 0.24 so finally i am going to get the value of k as 78.54 and it is better to round off this value so that we get the length of chain so this value i can say it is close to 79 which is the multiplication factor once the multiplication factor is known i can put the value in equation number one in order to get the length of chain so i'll say therefore put p which is the pitch and k which is the multiplication factor 
in equation first so therefore the length of chain will be equal to which is 34.89 multiplied by k which is 79 and hence the length of chain comes out to be 2756.31 mm or i can say it is 2.756 meter that's the third answer so in short we have seen in this problem there were three questions asked first we had to find out what was t2 and that t2 answer it came out to be 54 that is the number of teeth on the driven sprocket next the pitch pitch value came out to be 34.89 and at last the length of chain the answer was 2.756 meter so with this the problem gets completed